Okay, so in this last video, um, I'm going to uh, go over um, an, an option that like maybe you would be interested in for presenting your final. So this option would be uh, creating like a book, like a PDF book that we could look through. You could add text if you want it. You could have a title page, all that kind of stuff. Um, so for your, um, you know, final, basically what you'd want to do is collect first all the images into a collection of, you would say, like, you know, final presentation book. So whatever, however many images that is, it doesn't have to be six. You could have 13, you could have whatever, you could have 20. It's up to you. Okay. So, um, for this, I'm just kind of going to go back to an old collection I had from the beginning of the semester. And I have it here. And I'm just going to go to, again, we've been going to slideshow. We can go to book. Oh, and what is going on here? Okay, these are some older images. Let me delete these from here. Come on, get out of there. is being a little bit slow. I don't want those. Let me clear the book. Okay, so I just had to clear the book to get rid of those old images. Okay, um, so let's see. Let's go over this from the beginning. Um, why isn't this populating? There we go. Okay, I just had to hit auto layout. So um, in your choices, uh, what we're going to do, there's a bunch here. You can actually send it right to Blurb um, and have them actually print it for you. Um, but we don't need that. But maybe you would, would want that for, you know, your best books. Um, we're going to make a PDF. And I'm going to go with, I guess, small square. That's fine. Um, we want an image wrap on the cover. Okay. Uh, do I necessarily want those images? No, but I'll kind of get there. And let's see. One photo per page. There's some other options where you can have left blank or right blank or whatever. I like kind of like the one photo per page. All right. So um, here I can view it um, as all of them. Here I can view a spread. Here I can view a single page. But let's go. Let's click on the the cover spread, and we'll look at that. Okay. So if I wanted to um, get rid of this, I could hit Remove Photo, and then I could add a new photo simply by just kind of clicking on one and then dragging it here. So this will be my front cover, and this will be my back cover. All right. Also clicking on it, I can zoom in or out, you know, if I want to see the full frame. All right. Also, let me zoom this in like this. You know, I could do this kind of thing if I wanted. Uh, whatever you do with this, you know, should kind of make sense. But, also, you know, you could have some fun with it as well. So maybe I'll just kind of go, I don't know. No, I'm like overthinking it. Yeah, I'll go with that full spread. Now, I would like if you do this to like add text to it. Okay, so I'm going to click on here and I'm going to, you know, call it, um, I don't know, whatever. This is whatever. Okay, so that's my text. Okay, now I can kind of move that around if I want. All right. Also, I can double click that, highlight it, just like in Photoshop, really. I just have to find the text tool. Here it is. Okay, custom text. All right. Uh, offset. Okay, so I can slide it up and down. Um, type. All right, this is what you really want. I'm going to go with something 
Maybe like that. No, that looks stupid. Uh, how about, yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, then I can make the size bigger. And maybe I'll change the color to that. And that looks bad. But let me play with the offset. There we go. That's okay. All right. So I can kind of mess around with the type here. All right. And now let me go back. And I can just kind of go from here. All right. So that, that's like a repeat. I don't want that. So I'm going to click on that. Um, and remove photo. And then, you know, maybe I'll put, oh, they're all repeats. I don't have enough to make a book. Uh, that spread looks nice, though. Let's see. Let me put that there. Why am I doing that? I don't know. And now I can look at that spread. Okay. I don't actually have enough images to do a book. But maybe I, you know, give a different view like that. And then also, you know, for the fun of it, you know, you can add, you know, more text or whatever. Whatever you want to do. If you want to add something that, like, makes us think differently about the image. Man, fine. Oops. And that all just got awful. And again, like, that's too big now. So I would make this much smaller. Maybe add some opacity. That could be cool. Maybe change it to black. And then it turns into a gray. That could be fun. I don't know. Pictures don't need to have text, but it's just kind of something I'm pointing out. Now, say I do really actually like this spread. I like how, oops, let me go to the page. I like how that's next to each other. That looks really cool. Um, so let me go a little farther. Here we are with this. Uh, I don't like the crop. I'm going to make that smaller. And here I have this repeat. I don't like that. But I'm actually going to change it up. I'm going to change the page layout. And this is where you could get kind of clever. Um, like maybe, uh, maybe I want it so I can add a bunch of text. Okay, that could be cool. Maybe there's like a story I want to add to it. Um, you can also... Let me do, let me do three, I could do three photos, one, two, three, yeah, that could look nice, and then like some text columns, yeah, that's cool, so then there's like two little text boxes, okay, so again, let me put this here, and then here, put this again, and then maybe I'll add some text about like, what are these things? Okay, and I could like write in here somehow. Oh yeah, these are things I found in Troy. Okay, and again, I'll mess around with that. Now, I don't know why I keep picking this. I don't really like this one. Okay, and then I'll center align it, and maybe I'll make it not so big, and then like down here I can write something else. Mm -hmm. Why is this not typing? This text box is not behaving. There it goes. What did you find? You know, so I can like add these like weird, like little things. I think, it, you know, you could do that. Again, I'll center align that. So that could be kind of cool to like mess around with. Okay. Um, and again, I could just kind of keep going and having uh, fun with it. Okay adding text, playing with how the images, you know, you could have images repeat, but like maybe it's, you know, this weird like little kind of game, visual game you're playing. Something you could do, again, like in presenting the images. All right, so then when I'm done, 
all I would need to do is export the book as a PDF. And I could call this Baker Final Book. Okay? And that would be like the last thing. So this could be a fun way for you to kind of explore your images a little bit more. Uh, because, you know, we're not in the crit space. We're not in the room together. We're not making prints. And we're, you know, we're not doing all these things that uh, I normally do in the summer. Okay? Uh, but I thought this could be a cool thing to do. All right. Make a book. Why not?